It's like, oh, my stomach. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Maybe I should bite something. Give me your arm. <laughs> yeah, are you a, a toddler, I believe a toddler would be, I would say two to four. So infant, baby, toddler, child, child teenager, teenager, young, young adult, 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 and then you. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Nothing to fight about there. <laughs> I love you. Me too. You love yourself too? Yeah. Honestly, the way you and I text, I mean, let's bring the receipts. Wait, I text you. No, I'm not going to show what you just texted me show. today. You can show. Are you talking about this? I'm talking about that baby. Too hot for TV. I was in a deep squat admiring myself, and I happened to notice that a little piece of bubble gum had traveled outside the perimeter. And I got the text. And I said, oh, <laughs> I have to bite you now. <laughs> Loving you as a friend is pretty easy. Okay. You're a very lovable person. Okay. She haven't you noticed that everybody who meets you loves you? That's true. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not like, I'm not, you know. Do you know what I mean? I, I don't, I don't often, I, you know. Katya sent me flowers. So that's how you know we did something. <laughs> when that fucking cretin thought of me, you know. Yeah. Went on the World Wide Web to look at 1-800-Flowers.com. Thank you. Everybody say bye, Katya. Bye. Bye. Illy SM. What an absolute treat and gift that was for all of us involved. You guys, I really harassed her to do that and I can't believe she actually did it. So thank you so much, Katya, for joining us today. Uh, culture. Oh. No. <laughs> Body of Christ. I, I was just gonna hand it to you with this. <laughs> Both loners. Yeah. So it's perfect. I mean, I would say we talk on the phone probably every day. Yeah. Briefly. I mean, yeah, and FaceTime a lot. But I mean, what are we gonna do? I don't play video games. No, you know, I don't run the streets. Yeah, she doesn't I don't scream have sex at, for money. Yeah, yeah, she doesn't scream at fine china and look at plates. <laughs> <laughs> I, d I definitely do love you very much, but to me that just means, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I love me too. <laughs> I, I love you that. and some, oh God. <laughs> this is the perfect example of a text I received from Trixie. So I haven't heard from her maybe a day. And then it said, can I ask you something important? First thing is like, okay, accountability. I need to be accountable for my actions, okay. And I said, shoot. And she says, should I be doing porn with a picture of herself looking great? <laughs> Did I really? Yes. <laughs> like all, you know, cause I had all this came off on his ass. I, okay, I love you. He couldn't tell that you were a drag queen. He thought you'd be a woman. It was very dim in my apartment. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for joining right, us. I love you so out. much. I love you. Everybody bye, say bye. Bye. Uh, it means so much. Um, I want to ask you a bit more about the album too, because like, where did the title come from, and what was sort of the the um, impetus behind that? But like, what the, the the starting point for you with that? Title? Well, well, like most th like most things, um, when it's a title, to me, it's it has to have a few le like levels. And this one, on the surface level, it's like Katya and I used to say, you know, call each other Barbara all the time. Um, and that sort of, so there's parts about this album that's about our friendship. I'm having a ton of fun today, by the way. Me too. I'm having, I'm a, having blast. a great time. I'm having a blast. I like filming from home because of laziness, but uh, it is not the same. Nope. I, I, I don't care. Lazy, schmazy. I don't want to do it no more. I want to come here. I want to go to work. I love being on camera. Yeah. Have I told you I loved you lately? Who gave you that? I bought it myself. No, you didn't. Of course I did. I don't want to date that guy. That guy's a serial killer. This is not a date. This this is a marriage situation. I would say that if we really did have a drama, I don't I don't think we could because I think we would talk about it before it happened. Anything got serious. At this point, absolutely. absolutely. Because honestly, we've we've been through worse than I, I think the worst is behind us as far as like It better be. <laughs> I hope so. It fucking better be. But we we've done this. So whatever this is is so manageable. Yeah. And because we've done this, this can never really be this again. No, no. God. Do you know how hard you'd have to provoke me to get me to fight with you? Like, because I, we, I don't care. <laughs> how are you guys doing today? Honestly, this is the, probably the first thing we've done together for press in what? 12, 12 years. and a half years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so we're good. It's know. good. This is a nice, refreshing um, change of pace. We're cross-dressers in front of a Zoom in 2020. What more can you ask for? Yeah.
Most of it's Trixie Mattel's birthday, so I'd like to encourage each and every one of you to reach out to her via social media and tell her Znumarish Dania, Feliz Cumpleaños, Bon Fet, and all that. Yeah, choose for you. Mm, be shy. Um, I did get something for Trixie. Very, a very nice, wonderful pre present, actually, but it's in the mail, so who knows when it will get here. I'm also waiting on my titties. I'm waiting on uh, these beautiful set of titties that I ordered, and I ordered them many moons ago, and I ordered them express rush delivery, and they are not here. I have no titties. So for my birthday, I bought myself a 1977 Superstar Christie in the box, very hard to find, very expensive, totally splurged, treated myself. And guess what Kati got me? A Superstar Christie in the box. I am allergic to The other, to the other day, sincerity. you sent me a picture of you in a rubber mask with rubber titties on. Yeah. And I showed it to my boyfriend and he goes, that's your best friend. <laughs> and I went, I know. I know. I, well, and then I said, you know what? I have that mask and those titties in my closet. There you those go. two people found each other. Birds of a feather, mama. Birds of a feather. Well, Katya, thank you so much for joining me. I'm really happy to have you to kick off the season. You know what? You know what's so interesting? I had the most pleasant experience talking with you today. <laughs> I think we're always afraid to reach out to people. The other day I had a little panic attack and I said, can I come over? I was shocked, by the <laughs> it's way. It's never happened. Shocked. I never like, happened. I literally, literally get out, get out the phone and I'm like, is she coming? She's reaching out to me for help. She's reaching out to me for help. And I started- I'm reaching out to that I started, for help. I was like, oh yeah, baby, the table's up, turn. I was like really so happy. You're like, well, guess I've got my shit together after all. By and then the you way, back flipped out the window. I back flipped out the window, but- I'll how has your friendship grown and changed as you've matured as women? Well, I think we're in a good place right now. Uh, yeah, I mean, we've had a lot of very high highs and a lot of low lows. And lows, of, yeah. Now that the, the it's gotten like this and this, since we idle in the middle, it's all just gravy. It could be better. It's been worse. Yeah, it's been worse. But we've also, I mean, we've achieved a lot together. I'm very grateful for you. Yeah, we we I'm, we understand each other very much. I'm like very in love with you. <laughs> I've said on I've said on phone calls like you better ask her because I don't think she's gonna do that. Like I'll be I'm you know. Very annoyed <laughs> with you. Bruna <laughs> Yeah. No, I mean yeah. It's, I've heard people. Okay. You know, I've done calls where they're like, "What do you think about that?" I'm like, "I'll do it. You better ask her." You know, like. <laughs> <laughs> so many times I've been like, absolutely not. We'll be in a group text or be like, that's fine with me. And you'll be like, no, <laughs> but fine. Um, we, we are, our, our friendship works really good professionally because we have very accurate um, reads on like what the other one will bring to the table. Yes. And I, I like a cornucopia and mm, maybe a plastic should, bottle yeah. of water. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's maybe literally a mason jar of urine. Yeah, probably a plate to take away from the table. <laughs> um, yeah, no, but I think it's, yeah, the yin yang kind of like, um, like workaholic, lazy, you know, it, it, we kind of, we meet in the middle and. Yeah, yeah like I'm and like also, you, I mean, we have separate lives, like separate work lives too. We do a lot of different, you do a million things by yourself. Yeah, we, we have, in, I mean, almost, it's funny that people think of us together all the time because do we not work separate? All of the time. All the, I mean, you you do like a four million jobs by yourself, and I'm now, just in the corner, <laughs> just jerking off. Uh, uh, corn. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um. But yeah. So um. Friendship. That's the secret, uh, though, is like really having um our friendship's not better than anybody else's. We just have a very realistic grasp on like what the other one is here for. Yeah. And and the thing is like when you so I've always had like um. I never wanted my, like, to go to work and then um, to come home and, like, to punch it. I wanted, I've always imagined that my work life would be embroiled with my, like, regular life. So to, to have a friend who, who is a work friend, that's a real friend. Like, it's not, it's like, fabulous. you know what I mean? Yeah, it's not, like, it's not, it doesn't mean it's an inauthentic form of friendship because my, I don't work at the bank. 
and hopefully, oh, Trixie, come live with me, mom. <laughs> come live, come live. Wait, how do I request her? Someone needs to apologize. Apologize, mom. Oh, wait, wait, I lost the filter. God damn it. Okay, well, it's over. Oh, there we go. Hello. You got to do it. You got I love you. I'll talk to you very soon. Okay, bye. Have fun. Bye. She was nice. Who was that? Or she came over. I wouldn't let her in my real apartment. We had to go to the studio because I was living in a cry for help. But like, I, yeah, I, I was very, 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 that was very enjoyable. And you know what was nice? You had a big bowl of Starburst. I did. And I realized yeah. I didn't want human companionship. She wanted candy. I wanted Starburst. She wanted candy. <laughs> just so you know, when you hug her, there'll be lots of candy wrappers in her pockets. Also, we're just trying to make each other laugh. Her laugh makes me laugh. She's an idiot. Her mind is hilarious. And I'm just always trying to get her to laugh. That's, I think that's what makes, uh, and our Netflix show, Queens Who Like to Watch, that's what makes it so good, is you can tell that if the cameras were off, we would still just be acting a fool. Is you. <laughs> you got shit all over you. You got shit all over that little head. That little head. Ooh, that little What head. is that from? I don't know, I'm just saying that. <laughs> oh. I find with you, if I get if I get you laughing, if I say it again and keep saying it, <laughs> it's, it's, just, new it's, it's new for you. It's a new joke over brain. and over again. Goldfish brain. Yeah, goldfish brain. Do you want to have children? I go back and forth. You do? I go back and forth. Do I want to, let's be honest, I can't do this full time and have a child. So I'll take care of the kid. I'll be with it. I got nothing going on. Do you think we would get a kid with me? Uh, I would get a, a teenager. I would adopt like Nell, you know? End of the film, we see the two of you getting the train back on the tracks. Um, what is your relationship with Trixie and sticking together as friends and collaborators, despite rough times and smooth times, taught you? Not to sound corny, but she's taught me the real power and value of forgiveness because I don't know what I would have done in her situation. So I went crazy for a while. And I mean, a lot of it was due to drugs, but a lot of it can't be summed up as like, oh, this person transformed into this other person whom I don't recognize because that wasn't all of it. Like it was, some of it was kind of based in reality, which made it even more tricky. Bottom line is she just kind of waited it out and forgave me. And that is like really incredible because like, I don't really know what I would have done in her situation. I don't know. It, it was a really horrible time and she went through a lot of horrible stuff and I had never been in my life the villain. <laughs> you know, like I had never really done bad shit to somebody. Like the worst it ever got was I would just write somebody off or ignore them or just drift away. It was always negligence. It was never like abuse. All of a sudden I was this abusive force and I'm like, oh my God, you know, looking back, you have to take time. Time actually really does heal things or provide the opportunity for healing, but you don't know it then. At least I didn't. You're like, this is going to stay horrible forever. And I was always amazed because I'm not a fighter. I don't, I'm always amazed at like couples who fight and then they're okay in six hours because time passes and your feelings change. But I've never fought before. It's, I think, just a wonderful testament to her um, coolness that she's like, you know, I could do this alone. Of course she can. She does. She has so many different like facets of her career that are so successful on her own. But she's like, I'll wait around for this fucking jackass to get his shit together. <laughs> You know, and so because I like what we do together, and I think she does too. Meg will help me. Uh, she calls me dumbass, and I call her shit. That's a really good question. Would we? I, if I'm in public, I'll call you Brian. And always in drag, drag names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out of drag, we say boy names. Right? Yeah. You're yeah. the only person I do that with. Let's see if I even remember Soldier. I honestly don't remember if I know it, you guys. It is Katya's birthday, and I did technically write this song about her, so let's just do it. Me and Katya have to film this thing tomorrow, and they sent us a bunch of food to our houses as part of the filming. They sent us each this cake, and tomorrow's her birthday, and I was literally 99% complete, like, 
going to send a cake to her house for her birthday. Oh. And then and then the production we were working on sent cakes for us for more like uh, to, like topical work reasons. And I'm like, well, I'm not going to have her have two cakes in her house. Well, but at the same time, though, you making her a cake is kind of awesome. Yeah. But don't you think sending a cake to a 38-year-old man is a little weird? Oh, my goodness. Not at all. Man. Not at all. I think that is, is still a very sweet gesture because it shows that you – you you did usually something... no joke for for Christmas and her birthdays. Usually, what I do is I walk down the street in Hollywood to the taxidermy place and I buy it something taxidermy. <laughs> and she absolutely loves, loves it. She loves it. <laughs> like, like, I love your place. Hey, I do too. I want to move into it. Okay, I'll just leave. Yeah, I want to move into the um a floor. I want to move into a unit on the bottom. The first floor? Yes, I do. There's one for sale. Are you serious? I'm dead serious. Would you let me do that? Yes, you should move to my building. I'm moving. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. And your lesbian lover, Trixie, is also featured on a song called Ding Dong. Um, so it's a Euro dance song, described bar as a Euro dance song. Bar Mitzvah Barn Burner. I love that. And I don't think that Trixie has done like a dance oriented track before. Um, so it takes some convincing to get her to do a song that's not like folk in the middle of a field with a guitar. I said, yeah, it was like, she's very busy. I get it. I'm so happy for her. But it got to a point where I had to take my gun out, stick it in her neck and be like, <laughs> this could go one of two ways. And I think you know what those ways are. So why don't you just go to the studio and you blah, blah, blah into that microphone. Otherwise, I'm going to have to shoot you through the neck. No, she was really, really, really cooperative and very collaborative in the process. Yeah, what was writing that song together like? How was that? Was it the same as the book? It's, it's like, to me, this is such a joke because once you hear the song, it's, <laughs> it's, it's like four <laughs> words from a movie. She says, James Gum, and that's it. And, I, and I, that is so funny to me. It's like, like a joke we had. We had it, she came in and performed a joke that was only between the two of us on Twitter for like weeks and nobody thought it was funny because it wasn't. <laughs> I think the James Gum stuff is funny. So did Stacy ever mention a man named James Gum? <laughs> it's just so weird. It's like, oh my God. But anyway, so uh, all inside jokes aside, the song is so lovely. She doesn't have a lot of Excuse value. Me. I just had to tell you, you are stunning. Thank you. Ah. That's not yeah. true. Pepe and I were just talking about uh, people still clock us with the masks on. Just incorporate How? it into the... Uh... Stop screaming. Stop screaming. Stop screaming. Well, we were, we were, me and Katya went to the high tops. There's a West Hollywood high tops. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and Katya went there for dinner the other night. And somebody sent us two drinks, which was so funny. Cause, like, if you're a fan enough of Katya, you know that A, <laughs> a she doesn't drink, and B, B program. B. Wait, you cut out for a second there, right. uh, Brian. A, she doesn't drink, and B, she's a hardcore drug addict. So, like, why are you sending this person? To <laughs> like, what kind of fan is that? It's like, come on now, Sent come on. The good stuff. Yeah. Uh. I she's, just, she's I, um, send her like you know send her some vitamin C tablets or something. I uh, I maybe we've only this is the fifth maybe the fourth or fifth one. I've had a good time every time. I really and have. when it's time to say goodbye, I kind of don't want to. God again. I know because last time I wanted to and you kept you kept going. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, just another question. The sun is so hot, but I'm just going to do another question. Also, I think yeah. somebody, I think that moderator was like, I think that's it. And I was, I was like, <laughs> click and left. And then I saw the chat be like, wow, Trixie really dipped. <laughs> You're like RuPaul at the, the Katya. First of all, this is so Katya. Let's be honest. She would buy a gown like this from ASOS that doesn't quite zip and wear it every single day. This is very her. And the face, the face really looks like her. That's this is really good. Don't you guys think, comment in the chat if you guys think this is like exactly, I mean, look at the bone structure even. Cause Kati kind of has like a, I don't know what you call that face shape where it's very like gaunt. I don't want to say bony, but like. The lips are on point. It 100% looks like her. I think so too, you guys.
Oh my God, Honey says exactly like her. I think so. I mean, look at the eye makeup even. Katya loves like a blue, like a, like a dark blue smoky eye with a red lip. I think this is amazing. Let's look at the rest of the looks. Her formal wear. <laughs> a witch gown. These are pretty spot on though. She loves shit like this. Oh, this is her athletic look. Oh, wait a minute. Are these tattoos? This is amazing. Oh, look at the nighttime look, you guys. This is incredible. You guys better donate because the, the content created for you today is on point. I'm a little embarrassed. I've never been able to create Sims on this level. This is amazing. Wow. Even her body is Katya. Yeah, totally. I agree. Somebody said, nah, that's daytime. Honestly, it is. Her party look, okay. She loves a little prairie dress moment. Her swim look, what a bizarre swimsuit. Let's let's see what that body do. Wow. The hot weather look, sickening. And the cold weather look. Ooh, fun. These are all really fun. All right, let's go back to the game. Very Jasmine Masters abs, totally. Her body is slamming. Who will you thank when your book wins the Pulitzer? Um... Katie, Zach wants to know. You, our management company, everybody... No, one per so you're going to do one person. Oh. I'm kind of... I'm on the bill, so I'm a given. Who are you thanking? One person. Um, you are August 23rd, 1989. Yes! How did you know that? Well, I know you're seven years younger, and I know your birthday. I had a dream that we were on Drag Race last night, me and you. <sighs> I know, it was, in the dream, it was one of those things where I knew it was a dream, but it was um, too, like, vexing to not treat like it was real. Yeah. And for some reason, it was a live, like, episode of Drag Race, and it was, like, at a high school gym. It was not fancy. And it was a bunch oh, of drag queens, God. and I, we were definitely in the bottom, me and you. Mm. And I think we said we were just gonna... <laughs> It's not even a joke. In the dream, we just said, let's just leave. And then like, if we start <laughs> that's, walking. That's so, that's that's so, so our vibe, yeah. I'm like, what if we just keep start walking now? Oh my God, yeah, we can make, the test goes down, the street's probably still open. And um, we were like, I think everyone here wants to win more than us, so. This, uh, this sounds too real. I know, too like, real. If, we st if we right now hit the pavement and run down to the McGee's Donuts and get a couple fritters, Who's gonna miss us? Yeah. Oh my God. We're it's like... my birthday in a couple weeks and I don't have a lot of close friends and the only person I thought of inviting was that person. But it's because but, I don't have many friends. Right. So she doesn't have so, to be a very good friend to be high up on that list. Yeah. So good friend equals more close friend, but bad person. Love close it. friend, bad person, best friend. <laughs> if you're like a little bit socially awkward, maybe Chill. you just need to get close to somebody who's also socially awkward or Become like the the yin and yang. Get a best a best friend who's really loud who balances yeah. you out. Yeah, they'll they'll take the heat. They'll take the, the you know the spotlight will be on them, and you can just bask in the the warmth. But and we're back. Uh, but I've lost my other half. Oh, welcome. Hi. What are you doing? What is this? A mukbang video? With the mega one. In a second. But first, as we all know, 2020 was rough. My seven bags of fun is rough. Cosby. Katya had a number one electronic album yes, two I weeks ago. Thank you. And I, at the January, asked me how to play a piano. I don't even know. Ding dong. Ding dong. It's just, it's all, yeah. And then here I am, a musical. Um, we thought she was a Yoko. She's a John. Yeah. I took 10 years of karate, but I always hated the fighting. I will say, if you ever get in a fight, I really hope that you come out of retirement with that karate shit. I would love for us to be walking on the street yeah. one day and some homophobe is like, you know, brag it or whatever, yeah. and you just fully like, whoosh, whoosh, you well, know. Well, I know how to punch. Yeah, and my favorite, actually my favorite picture of us, Trick, that. I love that picture. So God, good. I'm so lightweight. So I just really get in the air. I know. 13 pounds. So he looked into your pre brown eyes and said, am I hurting you? <laughs> hurting you? Mother. Katya had this made for me for Now, fun. if you want to talk about dolls, Andrew Yang is yes. the man. Follow him on the, the internet, Yangabang. Yangabang. He made this by hand. By hand. From and look scratch. at Katya had this made for me as a gift. Look at these fucking Lucite heels. They're Hooker. so amazing. Pamela and the, the Anderson. Earrings, it's so he good. told me when you were he was making this, you're like, the one thing I'm not budging on 
is this shoe. <laughs> yeah. And so he had to figure out. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you got to make a seven inch lucite platform. Yeah. Does your mom know about the book? Do your parents care? They said, oh my God. Wait, 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 wait. My nephew, hold on. This is uh, indoctrinating the youth. Let me, let me show you. So my, my brother who has a child, um, uh, sent me a photograph, which you should look at this. Oh, <gasps> cute. Uh, oh my God. Did you like that? Look at him. That's, Look at him. Uh, that's cute. You're gonna be gay. There's no other way when you're reading a Trixie and Katya book. Yeah. Yep. We turned him gay. Turned him gay. What if I went like this and just, just, <laughs> just the I loudest, know, darkest know. fart? It is blood, blood fart. A blood fart. Come on. A blood fart. Come on. <laughs> you have to fire me. How do you do it? If, if I had to fire you, I would quit. Now, what award would you give to me? I would give absolutely hardest working. Oh my God, I agree. Hardest. <laughs> I love you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, you guys kind of won for a best unscripted show. Are you lying? What? I don't think I'm lying. Are you lying? I'm just serious. You guys won unscripted show. Are you lying? I'm not lying. I'm not lying. <laughs> Are you Nine lying? years in the making. Are you lying? I'm not lying. Are you lying? Are you lying? Are you lying? Uh, not are you lying? I'm not Wait, lying. Are you, are you pranking us? Are do you, you want to see my butt sweat? Are you lying? Yes, I do. Yeah, are you lying? Congrats. Wait, let me see. Oh, it's yeah, it's the one. <laughs> There's so many people to thank. Who? Oh, we have to thank people. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's see it. Pete Williams. Pete Ron Williams. Hill. Uh, Jeff McCubbin, and of course, Chris Smith. And everybody at World of Wonder, we yeah. have been at I've been seeing unscripted shows win where they go, uh, thank you to all 300 people who are on set. Yeah. We have a green screen and two wigs. Yeah. And we do a lot with very little. And thank you to all the editors. And, and yeah. Oh my God. Thank you to uh, Fina Barbatal, our fabulous assistant. And <sighs> thank you. Yep. And thank you to people like Brittany who watched us over the years. Thank you. Thank you. I can't believe this. Is this really, is this real? It's very real. And thank you, you to the Lord roll? God without whom none of this would be possible. Or something. I'm so happy it wasn't a gun. <laughs> this is so much better than that. <laughs> I'm really excited about this. I am too. I can't believe. For me, you, Still world's alive. chunkiest ass. <laughs> World's chunkiest ass. If this fucking ass gets any chunkier, bitch. I would give you a plaque that says, still, still here. here. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. But you know what though, Brian? Ooh, not government name. Do you know what though? What, Terry? <laughs> We're fortunate and does makeup tutorials. Oh, wow. I want her to win. <laughs> honestly, when I, I you, you don't have to tell me, or you don't have to ask me, ask her. When, I have, when I'm in drag, you can't tell me fucking. <laughs> Mary, you can't tell me nothing. Let, okay, let me tell you. Let me get. Let me. Let me tell you about. I have too much like, confidence. Literally nine <laughs> hours ago, just nine <laughs> hours ago, this fucking bitch. I I Facetime her. She was on the way back from um, this little gig she filmed with this makeup artist, and she was painted like I was serving a woman. But what? Okay. <laughs> oh wow, you look beautiful, Trixie. Okay, you're gonna say that. Um, but what, you're glowing. So this, oh my god! I, I put yeah, you're very glowing. Yeah, Scott Barnes, the the, the guy who invented the J Lo glow, the most famous yeah. makeup artist probably yeah. ever did my makeup. And so I came home in a flat little wig, and I Facetimed her and said, "I have I have sixty five screenshots on my phone, um, from I and you could this was her. I mean, I was cracking up. She was just like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is it? yes." Oh yeah. my god! And usually, usually I'll get I'll get her like when she does her own look, like her regular look. She'll I'll get a a, a text that says, "Should I be doing porn?" and then a picture, and then. But this was next level. She was literally. It was like you could not 
you could not penetrate this this force field of confidence and sexiness. It was incredible. But I mean, you're one of my closest friends, never. and I expect nothing of you. <laughs> well, I I, I I don't expect you to show up for anything other than professional obligation. I'm dead serious. If it was my birthday, I wouldn't expect you to show up. But I have. Hey, this has been so fun for me. Yeah, I, because you're here, and you make everything fun. <laughs> This has been fun. Um, yeah, I've been loving these. Like, yeah, I'm loving love these. Yeah. You want food? Is that what you want? Well, so I'm going to tell you, you're never going to get, get it. it. Sometimes I look at us and I go, yeah. I me. No. <laughs> every, every relationship, there's a gardener and a flower. Thank you. Yeah. You don't have to be the flower. You could be the fertilizer. I'm the shovel. I'm the shit. <laughs> <laughs> we certainly do hope that helped. Yes, we do. I hope it helps you. I really, 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 really like you. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, good to see you.